Good morning. Paul here and I'm down by the river again. Took a seat in the sun which is good on a cooler morning. But I'm reading out of Hebrews chapter 5 and we believe this is written by Paul. Uh, he, he gives a warning about falling away from your faith in Jesus. Uh, in the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to him who is able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. And he, being made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation to all who obey him being designated by God a high priest after the order of Melchizedek. About this we have much to say, and it is hard to explain since you have become dull of hearing. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the basic principles of the oracles of God. You need milk and not solid food. How about that? He's, he's saying to his readers that they ought to be teachers by now, but they're not. Um, verse 13, For everyone who lives on milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, since he is a child. But solid food is for the mature. For those who have their powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil. Therefore, let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go on to maturity, not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works and, and of faith towards God and of instructions about washing, the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgments. And this we will do if God permits, for it is impossible, this is important, for it is impossible in the case of those who have once been enlightened to have tasted the heavenly gift and have shared in the Holy Spirit and have tasted the, the goodness of the Word of God and the powers of the age to come. And then, having fallen away, to restore them again to repentance, since they are crucifying once again the Son of God to their own harm and holding him up to contempt. Verse 7, For land that has drunk the rain that often falls on it and produces a crop useful to those who, whose sake it is cultivated receives a blessing from God but if it bears thorns and thistles it's worthless and near to being cursed and it ends up to be burned though we speak in this way yet in your case beloved we feel sure of better things that belong to salvation for God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love that you have shown for his name in serving the saints as you still do. And we desire each one of you to show the same earnestness to have a full assurance of hope until the end so that you may not be sluggish but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Hallelujah. So he's saying it's impossible, once you've turned your back on the goodness of God, it's impossible to bring you out of that because you've crucified Christ again and shown him great contempt by ignoring what he's done for us. My goodness, we've got to hang on to our faith. We've got to we hang on to the hope that he has set before us, the inheritance that we have in him. Hang on to it and don't despise it, don't put it away, don't turn away from that. 
so important. It's impossible once you turn away to come back. That's what Hebrews is saying. So much for the uh, once saved and always saved. Uh, this is so important that we hang in there. Get into his word often and let his word get into you and change you. Let it change you. Let it change your thinking. Let it change your behaviour. Let it change your outlook. We have a destiny with Christ into eternity and that's a long, long, long time. Hallelujah. You get into his word and let his word get into you. Bye for now.